What's up, Internet? We are here in Just Cause 4, along with my terrible, terrible internet connection. I just I apologize in advance for having to disconnect 30,000 times, as my connection wants to do, and looks like it's in the process of doing already. Terrific. Uh, anyway, apparently, if you own the digital copy of Just Cause 4, you're entitled to play it two days in advance, so... I'm okay with that. I, I like Just Cause. <laughs> Just Cause 2 was one of my favorite games of the generation, and while Just Cause 3 was certainly an okay game, I like I liked it a lot, it had a lot of problems over Just Cause 2. For example, it was just a significantly smaller world, and even if it wasn't smaller, there was less stuff to do in any one square, like, kilometer square area of the game. Like, Just Cause 2, you could take any amount of size of the entire world, and you could basically say it had five times as much stuff than Just Cause 3. Moreover, Just Cause 3 only had like one area of the game, like Mediterranean countryside, whereas Just Cause 2 had deserts, jungles, beaches, islands, mountains, cities. There was just so many different areas that... Uh, you could really just enjoy and have a crazy time with. I, I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you this, I've got a review on my YouTube channel about it that you can go watch right now, that is just me gushing about how awesome Just Cause 2 is, and I've already disconnected, terrific. But, the fact is, Just Cause 2 is an amazing game, and Just Cause 3 was a pretty decent game. I mean, it didn't hurt that it had DLC that added a jetpack, which I'm betting is not going to be in this game, at least initially, but, you know, I I genuinely am excited about this game, and it takes a lot for me to get excited about uh, games in advance, but uh, seeing as I can play this two days early, I am absolutely going to, and I'm going to be playing this every day afterwards. My Probably. Because Just Cause is awesome. Sounds like they kept Rico Rodriguez's voice actor. <laughs> that was one thing that was weird. Just Cause 2, Rico was, like, uh, Hispanic. And then Just Cause 3, he was, like, Italian. <laughs> it was kind of weird. I, I appreciate the voice actor change, because Just Cause 2 had some pretty awkward voice acting and writing in general, but Just Cause 3, they, they fixed that up, for sure, for sure. It's just the world design was nowhere near as good. I'm also a little worried about how they're going to handle... Uh, upgrades and stuff in this game. I know Just Cause 3, I did not care for how they did upgrades. Like, you had to complete challenges to get upgrades, and sometimes you had to have upgraded, like, equipment and abilities in order to actually, like, complete some of those challenges. Like, quite famously, you couldn't do any of the car race challenges without, like, the nitrous booster, which required you to have already cleared some car races, which was a little awkward. And as someone who wanted to try and, like, 100% each of the, the challenges the moment I got them, that made things tough. Also, grappling hooks are awesome. Woo! Love the grappling hook in Just Cause. Jump. Yes. Alright, parachuting. We are Just Causing already. Uh, Just Cause was really neat. It was a game that had, like, so much verticality. You could get pretty much anywhere thanks to the magic of your parachute and grappling hook combo. And Just Cause 3 added a wingsuit. That was actually pretty awesome as well, but... You know, I, I think... While it worked, I, I didn't mind how Just Cause 2 had it. Can I blow something up? Please let me blow something up. Woo! I just want to explore and not be confined to a level. <laughs> can we please be through this so I can just check out the map and see how interesting the map's going to be? Because if this is Just Cause 3 kind of map, it'll be it'll be okay. But if it's Just Cause 2 style, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Yeah, I got to do this. Hold on. And then we're going to be doing this. Now, if you get a certain kind of, uh, if this is like Just Cause 3 anyway, if you get a certain kind of barrel and you hit it the right way, you can just rocket them off into space. Because Just Cause is ridiculous. Oh. Even getting hurt is fine in this game. <laughs> I love Just Cause. 
Uh, it, it feels too soon for there to be a new Just Cause, though. I mean, I, I want to say the time between Just Cause 2 and Just Cause 3 is like five years at least. Whereas this, I, I want to say is two years. I know Just Cause 3 is on my Game of the Year list when I, when I played it back then. So I'm inclined to think there's probably going to be at least a little bit of... Can I hack this thing? Yes, I can. I'm thinking there's probably going to be a lot of uh, reuse of engines and assets, which is fine, but, you know, it's if they used it well, which is the tricky thing. But they had time, and they've already got an existing engine to run off of, so, you know, just means they had to work on polishing the game, and they already had a pretty awesome game to begin with. Now, in pretty much every Just Cause, if you cared for an achievement, there was an easy one where you just climbed a mountain using your grappling hook and parachute. This actually looks like the first area of Just Cause 2 as well, which... That, that's a bit of a throwback. Oh, there's a jet. Oh, I want that. And also, I want to shoot it down, so let's do that. Now, if you want to shoot that uh, jet down there... Oh yeah, I think we gotta do this too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna drive around now, thank you. <laughs> oh, were you a scientist casualty? I think you were. Oh, uh, Just Cause is fun. It's all about just having fun and blowing shit up, and it's awesome. Okay, I guess I should probably drive that into those people. And get up. And over. I gotta be down there. I wanna climb to the top of the building. Also, you defy physics. If you fly at the ground, you're going to crash, but if you grappling hook, which speeds you up to the ground, you're uh, somehow going to be okay. Just fling yourself at the ground faster. It works. Because physics. But he's the great gravity-defying uh, special agent Rico Suave that he is. Oh, that's a neat animation. Just Cause 3 did not have animations for crashing like that. They just sort of shrugged it off for the most part. Or you ragdolled. I'm not sure if that's better, though. <laughs> that might just be extra faff that uh, slows you down. Oh, can I blow stuff up? I think I'm going to. That came off in a weird way. Okay, this could be a problem. Now, I remember that zooming in in Just Cause was always awkward because it was uh, relegated to one of the sticks. Like, you had to push in, like, the right stick to aim. Fortunately, that does not seem to be the case here, which is good. Oh, you've got a minigun. And I'm out of ammo. That's a problem. Okay, new plan. We're just gonna strafe that minigun. Get out of the way. Let's see if we can get that minigun. Because minigun, mini fun. Let's see. Can I take this off the thing? Normally you can. Doesn't seem to be. Interesting. Oh, looks like I'm in trouble. Doesn't seem like you can actually take the minigun off its stand now, which is. A weird choice. Oh god, hacking. Oh, please tell me there's no hacking in this game that's like other Just Cause games, because other Just Cause games are terrible at hacking. Either press a bunch of buttons and if you uh, get shot you have to restart, or alternatively, just stand around, and then if you get shot you have to restart and it was bad. I'm just going to whip you with my awesome grappling hook. Because grappling hooks are awesome. Okay, where are we? Oh, we got someone up here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, being the master of your environment is fun. Yes. I think we need one of these. I don't know what it is, but we need it. <laughs> ah, grenade launcher. I'm gonna take that. RPG seems a little bit more useful. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's going down. Boop! <laughs> oh, the explosions are fun. Oh, I love Just Cause. <laughs> Interesting, we seem to be lacking some of the abilities we had in Just Cause 3 from the start, or relatively close to the start, anyway. Are you kidding? He's Special Agent Rico Suave. He will survive all of it. Let's see what Project Diapa can do, shall we? Take a few moments for the court to reach full power. Do you think you can keep him occupied until then? This is Commander Morales. We have a threat on sight. Activate Yapa's defenses. Engage all artillery towers. Oh, hey, there's the wingsuit. That woman, with Rico at the airport. Is that who I think it was? See? Deal with that, please. With pleasure. Ouch. I wouldn't imagine a parachute in, a, like, a giant blizzard would be all that useful. Oh, excited. Yes, please. Let's play some of this. I'm gonna blow shit up. Okay. Looks like we've got jungle and uh, mountain regions. That's good. Oh, but those are all your fun toys. Damn it. I have no earthly idea. <laughs> I honestly want to see a dinosaur just stomp on by right now. <laughs> that would be awesome. I will say, this game does not load half as bad as Just Cause 3 did. Like, even now, Just Cause 3 takes, like, minutes to load in, which is terrible. Oh, I can't grapple. This is so weird, not being able to just speed up and grapple places. Damn it. Oh, uh, can I? Uh, no, no, I want to see the map. I guess map's not unlocked yet. Damn, I want to see what the actual world map looks like. Never seen anything like Yapo before. Uh, Mira might be right. Mira, I'm at El Abismo. People here must not be afraid of heights. I know you're not. I'm not, but I usually have a. Person. Oh, living on a cliff like this. Oh God, that would suck. Okay, so. Uh... Gotta go up here, I guess? So this bridge is like its own community. That's actually a neat little design choice. I like that. Something like the bridges in Just Cause 3, they're just bridges that you could blow up every now and then. Ooh! Let's, uh, not die. Again, better if we had a parachute. That's not good. 
don't know if that's the same guy who played Recon 3, but he seems to be taking a different uh, inflection to his acting, if he is. Alright. I see a helicopter. I see another one that's probably the same one. Oh, if I had a grappling hook, I would steal you in a heartbeat. You look awful. Agua? Black hand are casing the village. That happen often. Almost never. Maybe somebody attacked their weather base. Tools? <laughs> Tools? I think I could take Project Diapo alone. I agree. I'm saying I was wrong. You were right. Is that a distress signal? I didn't think you are with the agency anymore. Help me with this. What do we do about Iapa? Between the blizzard and those artillery towers, I can't get close. I have a couple of ideas. Take them offline. Wait. Listen. Listen. That'd be a good starting point. Your actions in the next few minutes may determine the fate of this community. I'm Commander Morales. I've tolerated El Abismo for years. To maintain order and justice in Solis, I've allowed this place to serve as a refuge for the criminal and the disenfranchised. Last night, they are very much not franchised. Against the Project Iapa facility, the culprit was abetted by a conspirator from this village. Who is that? Gabriela. She killed my uncle when I was a girl. She knows we're working together. If Mira Morales is not surrendered to me immediately, I'll be forced to conduct an exhaustive investigation. Every home will be searched, every citizen's identity will be checked. And all transgressions will be harshly prosecuted. Huh. You. You. Luis. Where is Mira? Where? I have to stop this. Gabriela! That was probably not the right move. Let him go, cousin. That was not surprising. They have the same last name. At least you aren't a coward. Your father would be disgusted with the monster you become. You two traitors can discuss your disappointment together in prison. Lord to my chopper. Oh come on! I've got a grappling hook. I want to steal that helicopter. Damn it! Okay, now steal the helicopter. That sounded like a grappling hook going through someone's brain. I can appreciate that. Come on, just let me steal one of them, please. <laughs> They're giving me a surprisingly amount of time where I'm not stealing helicopters with grappling hooks. And then crashing them into the ground, because that's what you do with these things. Conveniently missing the only named character there. Classic. I think we 
just started a rebellion. We didn't, have, we didn't have to drag these people into this. They are what we need to put down Project Diapa. Well, they'll need more guns. Eso. There's a factory down the road from here. Abandoned. Casquillos vacíos. We used to manufacture black hand weapons years ago. Let's check it out. Luis, right? Organize these people. Anyone who wants to fight the Black Hand gets to fight. You up for it, Sargento? Si, senor. Mira, I need to make sure my gear is working. I'll meet you at the factory. I do quite like the jungle design. Like, it looks very nice, warm, and tropical, and that's... That kind of was kind of lacking in Just Cause 3. It felt kind of cooler. I didn't really enjoy that as much. Come on, let me access a map, please. Hope everything works. Woo! Ah, perfect. Wingsuit. It's Luis. Uh, I mean, Sargento here. Mira a mí, un mincho a casquillos vacíos. This game seems to enjoy more of a yellow hue to it, too. Whereas uh, Just Cause 3 sort of preferred more of a blue tone. Who's Izzy? Hola, I'm the hacker. Uh, hi, that's what you've got. Your AR lens, Mira told me, already done. You have an AR lens? Like a little computer on your eyeball? Something like that. Let's get started. Okay, Sargento, you're up. Listo, here's your mission. The factory needs to be powered on, but the doors to the electrical room are being held shut by backup generators. Mission accepted, sir. Ah, it's fun breaking stuff. Okay. Aim the floor, release tether. We need to get these people gone fast. That worked. One generator done. All right, let's find some more stuff to blow up. That looks highly blow upable. Yes. Oh, hey, it looks like they kept that uh, kind of momentum bug in Just Cause 3. Where if you swap between the two, you can kind of endlessly gain height. That's kind of neat. Oh, right. The building itself is what I need, not that thing individually. Got it. Alright, so we gotta find a thing to blow up. This'll do nicely. Yep, that worked. <gasps> is that a blimp? I'm sorry. I need to see this. I need to steal one of those. It would probably get mad at me if I left the area, though. Damn it. Oh, I can't wait to be out of tutorial missions. I just want to fly around and mess around. That's what's great about these games. Certainly not the plot. Hey, we got some action. Generators are all off. And you're dead. And the doors just opened. Choppers and troops headed this way, Rico. Hmm. Better wake this place up or we'll be fighting them off with sticks and stones. Helicopter. Where is helicopter? I mean, I can fight these people, that's fine, but I want a helicopter. <laughs> You promised me a helicopter, game. Okay, I'm AR scanning. All sorts of nothing. Guess we'll go deal with that now. More stuff to blow up.
All right, so we gotta go in here. All right, let's do some more tutorializing. Need to use my grappling hook. Okay, so not like that, I'm guessing. Do I just need to smack it? Hmm. Let's get that out of there. These grappling hooks are actually really powerful. Okay, so... Need to pull it? Or was... What's... Oh, I see. You gotta get this little handle, I think. Hold on. Let's turn all that off. There we go. Okay, fair enough. Looks like a thing. Let's press it. We're in business. Let's call everyone in. Just give the order. Map. Yes, this is what I want. Okay. Interesting. So it's getting a little bit more tactical. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so this looks like sort of grassland sort of bits. This looks deserty. All right, all right, we got some mountains here, some jungle. Okay, so we're definitely going more just cause three or just cause two. And there's definitely a lot more land than there is water, unlike just cause three. I appreciate that. Okay, all right. So I got to uh, secure regions by advancing. Okay, your squads will move and the front line will follow. Okay. So basically you have to like actively push forward on a war front. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, the fire. I did that and I'm proud of it, damn it, because blowing stuff up is fun in this game. Just in time. They black hand are deploying their forces across the river. We won't be able to advance the line without more fighters. Any ideas? We became soldiers after what you did in the slums. Create more chaos. More recruits will come. More army of chaos. Break chaos objects. You've been doing it for years, Suave. Oscar Espinosa owns this island. The people can't fight him without losing their jobs, their homes. And even if they tried, what chance would they have against a black hand? We have a mutual goal, Rico. You help these people defeat the Black Hand, and we'll help you get to Oscar Espinosa. Okay, Mira. I'll do it your way. What's first? I got some ideas, Rico. I will ready your eyeball with more information. That sounds all kinds of uncomfortable. All right. Chaos bar. To advance, you need squads. To inspire people to join you, destroy things, to create chaos. Now, am I required to have actually done it while in here? Because if I'm not, I actually want to go explore the desert. I'm feeling very nostalgic for the demo to Just Cause. Frontline 
Ah, oh, so you actually have to start and expand. Okay, well that's very militaristic. But it's that very fun. <laughs> okay, well, let's find something to blow up. Vehicles in Just Cause were really not that great. I mean, you could use your grappling hook and parachute to get anywhere you needed, really. Vehicles were kind of pointless. Get back here. Almost got you. Mine now. This thing handles like a pig. Now I'd like to find a motorcycle in this game because I know Just Cause 3 could not do motorcycles to save its life. They handled so sloppily. Cars were alright, but but uh, motorcycles just did not handle to save their lives. It was annoying because motorcycles, of course, being such a lightweight vehicle, were probably one of the fastest options for, say, um races, as a lot of challenges were. <laughs> okay, we can do that now. And I didn't have to unlock it. So that's kind of nice. Nice sense of speed, too. I, li I like that speed blur. Also, jumping is fun. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, this is pretty. So we need to go up there. The problem is, the wingsuit is not exactly made for gaining height. But that's what the parachute's for. You can get pretty much wherever you want with this thing. That's here. Do I need to be somewhere else? Ah, that was probably just a thing I put up, wasn't it? Oh well. I need to explore the world more! Oh, this is peaceful. I like it. Like, that was one thing I loved about Just Cause 2, is you could just get into a plane and just fly anywhere, and the colors off the landscape and whatever, and the lighting was always just perfect, it was just such a... That was a weird transition. Granted, this is pre-day one, so, you know, day one patch doesn't exist. Still. Oh, this is pretty. But Just Cause 3 was also very pretty. I mean, it's really hard to make a game not pretty nowadays. Thing is, people focus so much on graphics now. But that was the thing about Just Cause. It looked pretty without having to have a bunch of fancy graphics nonsense. It was all about gameplay and just knowing how to set up a proper aesthetic. Bike. Yes. This actually looks like the bike from Just Cause 2 as well. Okay. It's hard to describe, but it feels like you're kind of driving on a ball. Like, just under your center of gravity. It, it feels like you're just pivoting around a singular point. It's not hard to control, but the way the camera reacts makes it a little bit strange. But it still feels pretty smooth. It's certainly nowhere near as bad as Just Cause 3, with his damn near undrivable bikes. Alright, let's do this mission, I guess.
Yeah, I recognize that bike. I was driving it a second ago. Load up the truck. We're leaving in 60 seconds. How did you organize this ambush? See, most of the stuff we recovered is standard black ammunitions. But I also found some of these. You know, for a guy who just seems like some random guy who happened to be there, he's actually relatively effective. There's a bunch more left in the truck. Good, fine, Sargento. This could be useful. You want to have a screwdriver? <laughs> are you adding that to your grappler? No jodas. You have to make do with whatever you find. What are you going to do with that? Get chimba. And that's how you steal stuff, apparently. I'll drive the truck. Possibly. We've got a chopper nearby waiting to extract this. Make sure you get there in one piece. Gracias, parcero. We're moving out. That reminds me a little bit of, um... Well, the, the obvious connection would, of course, be Metal Gear Ground Zeroes. Or Phantom Pain, rather. But, um, it reminds me a little bit of Crackdown. Oh, do I have to grapple? Can I not drive it? Alright, fine. I'm on. Go. Let's get out of here. This is actually very reminiscent of the second episode, or second episode, the second level of uh, Just Cause 2. Where'd you learn to plan an ambush? Out of La Bispa. You came out of nowhere, and the Black Hand didn't know I hit him. It was epic. Yeah? Starting the road. Must have been some fighting here. Looks like there still is. Oh yeah, just one. Chevre. See, that's what I mean. Stuff like that. You think I'd make a good agent like you? I'm out of weapons. New plan. Oh yeah, we're doing that. Aw, oh, come on. Okay. gonna die before I get my helicopter. Not happy about that at all. Open the grappling hook menu. Fine. Let's see. Right trigger. Okay, this is where you can edit. Okay. Got it. Okay. Switch load up B. Got it. Columns define what button presses do. Auto activates when your tether is deployed. Actions on tap and hold. Okay. Add medium force air tether. Turn a loadout overview. Okay. I don't need that though, I've got a helicopter. Aim at the wreck and tether. Whoops. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm doing the thing, and now I'm dead. Yes, thank you game, I had surmised that, thank you. Uh, 
Well, that's a nice little countryside. You see some like industrial areas, some cities. Oh, I'm excited to see what the rest of this world looks like. Let's try this again. Uh, can I do this? Because I'm very much going to. <laughs> uh, I love doing that in this game. That's such a classic Just Cause thing to do, and I freaking love that you can. Well done. Break some more things. Got this, Rico? Listo. Gun. Gun, this is Jama. Extraction required at Bravo Station. Whoa. At Bravo Station. We talked about this. No further contact. Our units stay alert. Let's just pull that up. thing up there. Can I pop those balloons? Oh, I can. That's actually kind of neat. <laughs> this is going okay. First mission is bound to have a few, uh, hiccups. Just focus, Sargento. Drive. They're still coming. Oh, they've got dune buggies. You know what I have? I've got a grappling hook. Alright, let's get onto that truck. Alright, now... Boop! <laughs> oh, it's like the most versatile tool ever. Grappling hooks are fun. I don't know why it took so long to make a world that has a grappling hook. I'll just let you have fun with it, but it took too long. It seems like a no-brainer in hindsight, but you know, hindsight's 50-50. You're not Special Agent Rico Suave. You can't be in the shit. Hmm. I would like to shoot you, but you're inside my vehicle at present. Yes. Let us take a new weapon. Because not having ammo kind of puts a damper on me shooting things. And if we can edit the loadout and how these balloons behave, we could probably set them to like a higher... Uh, yield of helium or whatever, which would actually probably lift this thing entirely. That's actually a pretty cool system. Right there. Please get off my truck. I kind of need you to not be on there. Oh, you're currently connected. That's why! Fair enough. Here. 
but extraction's not here yet. As long as I don't have to stand on a truck for a while. We gotta hold them off until that chopper gets here. That should not be a problem. Lock and load, people. The black hand want their supplies back. Who's left to shoot at? You seem like a good candidate. As do you. I'm gonna actually get to shoot you. Oh, whatever this is, it's wildly unuseful. And there's this guy. problem. I'm the gravity defying Special Agent Rico Suave. I fear not your bullets. special and also dead. Looks highly blow upable. Okay, search to find uh, helping will earn mod points. As long as they're not terrible challenges. I'm gonna blow you up and then we'll see if we can find some training, whatever, whatever's. Something slightly something more useful. Hey, Sarge! You said I could call you on this number? Who are you? I think I'm Rodriguez Conferenston. Good. Listen, Dom, I want to help out your little revolution. Doing a little shoot by the river. Swing by, we'll do lunch. Ciao. Who was that? She's like a movie producer. I ran into her crew near El Abismo. Kept asking her about you. But I mean, it sounds like she wants to help. I need better weapons. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do about this. Yes. I think we need to change that entirely. Let's see what the difference is. Okay. We're never turning that off, ever. <laughs> okay, I've got no weapons. I don't seem to have the way to call in for weapons yet. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. That didn't seem to actually help. Let's see if we can... Uh Ah, uh, come on. I just want to blow a thing up without using bullets because I don't seem to have... Moped. Okay. I'm on a new mission now. I need to knock that guy off his bike. 
Because mopeds are stupid. There we go. I am now contented. Kind of surprised there's nothing vaguely. Wow, that really held up. Huh. That was interesting. <laughs> oh, physics are fun. You cannot resist the lure of the grappling hook. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, hey, Ray. You off work? Oh, come on. I don't have explosives yet. <laughs> do I have to sit here and punch things until they explode? I'll do that. Unless, if I attach them to this point, I might give it some kind of leverage, possibly. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this game. <gasps> tuck, tuck. Yes. Oh, <laughs> ragdoll. Oh, I want the tuk tuk. Get your boots off my vehicle. This was the single worst vehicle in Just Cause 2, and it was the best one ever. <laughs> it's literally a shed on a tricycle, and I love it. Uh, I think this is final release. Like, it, I, I bought it. And it said I could play it two days early, because I bought it digitally, so it's like pre-day one patch, I'm sure, but, you know, this is more or less final product, I would assume. It wasn't labeled beta anywhere, so... You know, if, if you go out to, like, the Xbox Live thing and you buy the, uh, digital thing, this is what you're getting right now. And it's fun. But, I mean, it's just cause. It's just faffing about, and I love it. Okay, this needs to blow up. Oh, stuff, get out of the way. I need to blow this thing up, and I have no ammo. Actually, you know, it occurs to me. We just make the physics freak out a little. Or that could happen. You know, that works... <laughs> okay, this is already well worth my money. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's possible. I know basically what I've been told is I can't do anything to the regions until I've like pushed out my war line, front, whatever thing. That said, you know, it is just there. Let's see if we can get there, because I, I really want to see the desert, so... Can I just... There we go. Screw it, let's go see what the uh, mountains are like. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> and I love the jungle. That was one thing Just Cause 3 didn't have. It didn't have jungle. Ow. <laughs> you know, it would surprise you to realize I was playing Just Cause 3 just yesterday. <laughs> I almost should know how to wingsuit at this point. Although I love the fact they left that weird, like, momentum bug where you can just gain endless height just by swapping between the two.
let's see. Uh, that would be right about here then. Okay, well, let's try and get over there. I mean, I just want to see the desert, honestly, because I'm feeling nostalgic for the Just Cause 2 beta. Or, uh, demo. Which was literally, like, 30% of the desert area was huge. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I feel like I'm in, like, New Zealand right now. Oh, it's so pretty. I think the problem Just Cause 3 had in terms of aesthetics was it was just one environment. Like, th that's one of the reasons why I love Just Cause 2 more than Just Cause 3. Like, Just Cause 3 is a great game, but Just Cause 2 is way better. You've never played Just Cause. That's... You should go watch my review of it. Just Cause 2. I, I think I reviewed it for like 15 minutes straight or so. And it was just me gushing about how much I love Just Cause 2. It's one of my favorite games of last generation. Oh, that's pretty. And I mean, Just Cause 3 made it... Uh, onto my game of the year list. It was great, but, you know, it did not have half as much stuff as Just Cause uh, 2 did. And that was kind of a problem. You could take any chunk of Just Cause 2 compared to any chunk of Just Cause 3 and there was just like five times as much stuff on the previous generation. And there was just more land to play around with. I mean, yeah, it was mechanically more interesting with like the wingsuit and later if you had the DLC, the jetpack, but... I'm gonna hit that. Is that where we're going? I think it is. Yeah, that looks like it. See, I disagree. I say you gotta play Just Cause 2 has more stuff in it, has better environments. It has less mechanics and it's less interesting in terms of gameplay, but man, I think it's, it, you're gonna get way more for your money. Way more enjoyable. I wonder if we can ride this deer. Just Cause 3 had the ability to ride uh, cows for some reason. No, we can't. Don't run off the cliff, deer. I don't want you running off the cliff. I think we have to climb that mountain now. It's a shame you don't have a PS3, Ray. I, I've got a spare physical Just Cause 2 copy up for trades. It's like the only thing in my uh, trades box that's actually worth anything right now. 
And even then, Just Cause 2 is, like, ridiculously cheap. You can get it for, like, $5. And it's such a ridiculously good value. Oh. Look at that. I think Just Cause 3 plays better, but Just Cause 2 you get a lot more gameplay out of, and I think it's just more fun. Because, you know, like the wingsuit, that works way better. You've got unlimited explosives, and your tethering works better, but it just... It doesn't have the world. Nor just amount of content, but man... Just looking at the world like this, I gotta say I am impressed. Oh, that's the thing that'll kill us if we go explore that. Let's not explore that yet. Oh, there's like air currents now that actually affect how you fly. That's... I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. This is basically if you took Just Cause 3 in terms of game planning and just put it in the world of Just Cause 2. I need some weapons. Like, I, I really need to get some weapons here. This looks like a place where weapons might be. Ow. Can I just order weapons, please? Uh, no, no, no. I guess not. Hmm. Can we lift that off the ground? Yeah, we kinda can. <laughs> oh, hey, you've got weapons. Good, I need them. Yes, I very much want this. Boop! <laughs> oh, Just Cause is fun. <laughs> I've not seen any of those stupid little uh, police uh, enclosures like Just Cause 3 had, which makes me happy because I hated those things with a passion. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> hey, I got a gun now. More guns equals more funds. I mean, I can shoot your feet, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yes. I need this in my life. Get out. <laughs> oh, never stop being fun, Just Cause. I mean, I think that was sort of like the bad rap Just Cause 2 got at the time, is everyone just compared it to Grand Theft Auto, and it's not a Grand Theft Auto game. Sure, there's vehicles you can steal, and it's an open world, but really most of the game is in the sky, I think. With the grappling hook and the parachute, and I mean, now if you start encountering like DLC and stuff, there was a jetpack, which was awesome. Seriously, this game needs to have a jetpack. Get out of the way. You know who I am? I'm Special Agent Rico Suave. 
I don't need to put up with your bullshit. I need to blow things up. <laughs> oh, okay, so I've been playing for about an hour, and so far I can say I'm endorsing this game. It's it's fun. <laughs> it was worth the, like, $120 I spent because I bought the gold edition. Because I knew I was going to buy the DLC anyway, because Just Cause is fun. And any excuse to play more DLC is, is good for me. <laughs> I think I might have to stream a little bit more of this uh, as the week goes on for sure, for sure. Maybe I'll do like the first week of Just Cause 4 or something. Just do a little bit every day, because that'd be fun. Oh yeah, the explosions are so good. I thought I heard a helicopter. Ow! Okay, that was a thing that blew me up. Where's the other weapon I had? Where's the control for that? Well, I don't care now. I'm taking a helicopter. Gimme. Oh, yes. Not one of those crappy helicopters with miniguns, no, we've got rockets. And miniguns, oh, hey, awesome. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a helicopter duel, well. You picked the wrong guy to fight. I kind of wonder if taking down a helicopter is as easy as it was in uh, Just Cause. That is some kind of UFO drone thing. But uh, Just Cause 3, the final boss was in a helicopter, and you could beat it just by grappling it to the ground. <laughs> I, I just remember how ridiculous the uh, final boss to Just Cause 3 was. I don't know what you are, but you look fun. Oh yeah? Let's see what you can do. <laughs> oh, you make things blow up. I can get behind this. <laughs> oh, Just Cause is so fun. <laughs> oh, physics. Yes, thank you for making my day. Uh oh. Go away, weird UFO drone thingy. No one likes you. Oh, so you're making me explode. Oh, I think I'm dead. If I'm not, I don't know where I am. Yeah, I'm dead. I never played the Hulk game. I, I played uh, Prototype, which was like a... It, it was the same game, like they used the same engine and everything, but it, it was just sort of not Marvel branded. I think it was its own unique comic book, though. But I uh, never played the Hulk game. I want to, though. Which is funny, because I don't remember enjoying Prototype all that much. I don't have the money either. I'm unemployed and my entire income is $13 a month I get from my Patreon at this point. Which, feel free to go support my YouTube channel's Patreon so I can, you know, eat. But uh, this game makes me feel happy. And, you know, sometimes you just need that. Oh, hey, they've got... They actually have greenery in the desert. That's... That's actually kind of cool. I don't think Just Cause 3 had too much greenery in the desert. It was just sort of desert... Okay, that stops you.
Well, mindless fun is good. It's cathartic, and, you know, catharsis is important. That was another thing I always loved about uh, Just Cause games, is I, I'm always sort of like a big explorer in games, and, uh, you know, Just Cause 2 had crap tons of exploration, and just, like, hidden, like, secret things in it. I want Dune Buggy. Give me now. <laughs> Don't care if you're on my team. Get out. <laughs> okay, we gotta ramp this off something. That'll do. Woo! Crunch. <laughs> oh, driving is actually really fun in this game. Which is weird, because, you know, Just Cause has never been known for its driving, really. Especially Just Cause 3. Especially, like, you know, uh, motorcycles were just atrocious in that game. This is actually not horrible. This is a lot of fun. That said, I saw a blimp earlier, and I want to steal one. <laughs> I just don't know where I would find a blimp. Oh, this is a fun vehicle. I like this. Okay. Now it's getting all, like, end of the world apocalyptic and shit. <laughs> or, you know, a sandstorm or something. Whoa. This is actually significant. I mean, I can't see where I'm going. And it's like actually actively affecting how I'm driving. Whoa, this is awesome. It does feel like it controls a little bit better than Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I can't use my wing suit or anything because that wind's pushing me back. I did hear that environmental like uh, weather and stuff was going to be a big deal here. I need to fly through that. This is a thing that has to happen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this game is so pretty. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> this is genuinely fascinating. Like, it's, it's localized weather. Now, I know Just Cause 2, all the clouds actually moved independently and actually, like, uh, reacted independently from everything else, which was really cool. This looks like the evolution of that, although it could also be a story-related thing. Uh, similar spoilers to one chunk of Just Cause 2, there was like a weather weapon, and I think there was something about that in the plot about some kind of weapon that has to do with weather, maybe. Still, that just looks like a localized storm that's actually just moving around. And if that's the case... The weather in this game is actually really significantly cool. Yeah, that's actually localized because it was like all over here a minute ago. That's just blowing around. I also need to fly through this. Oh, yeah. Train tracks. Is there a train around here? Okay. Let's not crash. There we go. So we got like some kind of old mine around here. That's... Ah! Something shooting at me. Let's try and fix that, shall we? Is there a hacking tool? It's 
I can just... It looks like I should just be able to, uh... Ugh, oh, die. I like that there's an option to stay in Ragdoll. Yeah, me too. It, it feels a lot more warm. Like, I noticed it seems to be using, like, a lot more yellow hues and, like, oranges and reds as opposed to Just Cause 3, which seemed to use a lot more blues and greens and a little bit cooler tone. Which, it makes this entire place feel a little bit warmer and um, more hospitable, I suppose. I am absolutely loving this game. Whoop! Let's not crash too badly. Whoop. Hey, we still got that uh, bug where you can skim the ground without getting completely destroyed. That's kind of nice. Oh god, there's a lot of these things. How do I swap my weapons? That's not the button. Nope. 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 No. That's how you swap that thing. Uh, weapon swap button. Could just be my other weapon doesn't have ammo. Possibly. That's okay. Just means you gotta play a little smarter. And not get railgunned to death. That would be good too. Hmm. That didn't work as well as I would have liked. Now, it could just be that I'm really, really early in, but I have not unlocked any sort of, like, explosives. Like, Just Cause 3 had, uh, sort of, like, an unlimited C4 option. That was a lot of fun. Especially when you had, like, the rocket attachments in, but... I would like to not die, if that's at all an option. Let's get up here. Let's see if we can do this just uh, our balloons. I'm not sure we're actually doing damage to it. That's a problem. Yeah, Just Cause 3 just had a really um, cool palette to it for some reason. Let's not say it didn't have some warm tones to it, but for the most part, it just didn't feel like it's... I don't know why I'm aiming that way. It just didn't feel all that nice and uh, warm an environment. It felt really cold. Okay, so I need to find some weapons that are explosive because I do not have them. And my currently existing grappling hook special features of hyper balloons do not seem to be doing too much. But, to make myself feel better, I'm gonna ruin this guy's day. Goodbye! No, let's let's keep you up there. Lost contact with enemy. Regroup. It seems like the balloons despawn afterwards. It it's hard to explain, but typically cooler, darker tones tend to just feel kind of cold like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I like that a lot. Looks like you can have, like, up to ten grappling hooks going at once, as opposed to Just Cause 3's 2. 
And the whole uh, modifying your grappling hook build is kind of interesting as well. I think that car's gone forever now. I feel better now. Okay, so parachuting into a storm is tough. Wingsuiting still makes it awkward to try and maneuver, but you can do it. You certainly at least have more momentum this way. That looks like a fancy car. I'm going to take it for me. Yes, I will take the thing that looks like a Ferrari Enzo because style points and also outrun. Oh! Whoa! Goodbye, very fancy car I could never hope to afford. You will be missed. What value is a car if not to ramp it off something so it explodes? There is none. Hey, it's that church from that one terrible Hitman game that makes me sad. What looks immediately explosive because I feel I need to explode something I haven't exploded something recently that looks interesting let's see what that's all about Sargento, I'm at Prospero Tanques before we take the factory, we need to secure the tank schematics and the weapon designs. Get me coordinates. Oh. You need to crack into an underground. But I just want to blow things up. Weapon designs are developed in the R and D department to the north. I'll let you know when I have them. So we're gonna do that. I'm from Canada, so Spanish eludes me. I mean, French eludes me. English is barely my forte. Oh, that was pretty. I like the blue explosions. That's very electrical. Oh, God. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can deal with those snipers. Hey, buddy. Boop! Ha! This game is fantastic. Oh, explosions. Oh, I need weapons. Come on, weapon drops. You had a weapon, right? I'm gonna take that. I was in that a second ago. It's even better than a gun. It's a tank. I can blow up more stuff. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Tanks are fun. <laughs> oh, that's a rocket. What else looks red and glowy and ready to blow up? Let's not go down there. Or I guess we're going down here. Well, I guess that tank's kind of done. Okay, let's regroup and figure out where we need to go. That looks like a thing we can blow up.
Whoa, let's not stand there for too long. Hey, new tank! It's better than the old tank because I didn't leave it stuck in the middle of nowhere. It's a smaller tank, too. Probably means it's a little bit faster and a little less powerful. But the important thing is, it's a tank. Oh, yeah. There's like a motor pool over here. Cool. Once this tank blows up, I can get more. Yeah, she's pretty amazing. I I don't know how she does it either. I, I can barely understand English. But it's also like the most backwards-ass language known to man, too, so... I, I've heard it's much easier to learn pretty much any other language and then learn English than vice versa. I'm gonna blow that up. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that sniper. I think he's had a good run, but he needs to go down. Okay, Suave, we got this. Because Special Agent Rico Suave takes shit from no one. Yeah, I got a sniper rifle too. You wanna see? I gotta admit, that sniper rifle packs quite the punch. So about that sniper rifle, oh, you ran out of ammo. No, oh, but I wanted it. Oh, good, you've got ammo. That works out well, because I need it. What the hell has the green sight, and how do I get it? Ah, RPG. Yes, please. I think we're doing some decent damage, anyway. Ow. What the hell? Do you have a railgun? I want a railgun. It wasn't until this moment I knew I needed one, but now I absolutely know I need a railgun. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a satisfying weapon. I think I've now found a new favorite thing. <laughs> Boop! Finding ammo for it's probably going to be a pain, but still. Hey, guy. You didn't want to keep that head, did you? I gotta... This is dumb. Alright. Where's the thing? Okay, so how much you charge it doesn't really affect how much ammo it takes. Whoa, that guy caught fire. Yep, you're my new favorite thing, lightning gun. I mean, you're different from Just Cause 3's lightning gun, but still. Alright, where do we have to go next?
Oh, let's uh, let's calm down there, people. That's the last one. Power should be back to the elevator. All right. Whoa. Woo! Hit the button. On my way down. There should be a console down there you can access to grab the tank schematics. Take everything you can. Copy that. And by that you mean blow everything up, right? Oh god. They've got like a drone. Okay. I do appreciate that zooming is no longer mapped to a stick. That was a stupid feature. Okay, now you're done. <laughs> Should I pick up the riot shield? I cannot, that's unfortunate. Cool. All right, there's a thing to blow up over here too. Come on, a little more. All right. I need to get out of here. Fortunately, I am the incredible gravity-defying Suave. Because Rico Suave cares not for your gravity. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Hold on. I feel like it would be useful if I programmed this anti-air turret to deal with anti-air threats. Good. Scout tank. Listo. Listo. Easy's marking a spot for you. See if you find one there. All right. So you need to go over there. Let's go over there. No, no. He's Special Agent Rico Suave. Rodriguez was just a pseudonym. The occasionally Hispanic, occasionally Italian, gravity-defying super agent. Aw, oh, my little tiny baby tank. It's kind of broken, but yeah. I feel like I should be able to open that door. I don't know why you specifically chose the tank I abandoned because it's about to blow up, but uh, okay. You haven't steered me wrong thus far, game. Oh, that's an airstrike. Let's not drive into those. Oh. Yes, please. Yep, that's physics for you. That's that's how everything works. Let's go. Doors open. Nice. Better tank. Looks 
looks like designs for a light cannon. I want better tank now. That's more like it. I don't appreciate you throwing grenades at better tank. So now you get to fly in the air. Okay, so it's oh, it's down there. Okay, let's deal with you. You're dead. <laughs> oh, satisfying. Stretch my legs. Oh, there's a tank on the way. That's not good. Oh, yes, please. Flak cannons. I appreciate this. Oh. Let's try that again. Okay. Huh. Well, you know, we still haven't exactly gotten the day one patch, so fair enough, game. <laughs> that was close and awesome. Hey, that's a thing to blow up too. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap. Okay, let's find the thing they needed me to get. Really could use some uh, grenades or something right now, that, that's for sure. Granted, I'm like one mission in and then just said, Yep, screw the plot, gonna go have some fun now. Because just cause. Ow. Oh, I will be uploading this to YouTube. It should be up later tonight. Along with the rest of the playthrough. Most of my uh, uploads are on uh, Sundays. This is a nice thing. Yes, please. So you should be sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube to see all this stuff. Including all the other awesome stuff I do on a regular basis. As part of what is ostensibly my job. Such as it is. Oh, that's fun. I'm noticing a lack of magical force shields on this tank. I think I prefer that because those weird shield tanks in Just Cause are just weird. Okay, genuinely curious. Let's see if we can steal ourselves a drone. Huh. Nope. Let's see how many helium balloons we can attach to it and see what happens.
I'm not sure it's even in control of its own movements at this point. <laughs> I must go now, my planet needs me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's way up there, too. <laughs> cool. Kind of excited to see what else you can do with the grappling hooks. You should not have been able to tell because I'm using your IFFs. But okay. Huh. Doesn't just shoot straight, there's actually drop off for the cannons. That's interesting. Boop! Out of my way! <laughs> I'm in a tank. That means I always have the right of way. You should learn this. It's Road Safety 101. I'm in. Look for a console you can download the designs from. Much nicer tank. Some artillery designs. Nice. nice. That's everything. We just gotta raise the transmitter so easy can decrypt those schematics. It's near the entrance. Running by. Oh crap, they took out my armor. Let's make sure you can't do that again. <laughs> ah, excuse me. All right, how do we get over there? Uh, I don't think there was a speedometer in Just Cause 3, but I never bothered driving because I tried driving some motorcycles in that game and it was balls. <laughs> So I just stuck to jet packing and like uh, grappling hooking around. No, you're supposed to be in the orbit. That's what all those weather balloons I tied to you were for. Leave me alone, drone. Huh. So the uh, weapons for tanks now have ammo counters. That's interesting. I guess it means that they're not as all powerful as they used to be. I kind of miss having unlimited ammo, but I mean, you're going to have so much, you're probably not going to run into too many problems. Okay. Someone needs to die, and it's you, lifeless drone. Okay, let's leave before we catch fire and blow up, as is the style at the time. Okay, transmitter is going up. Connecting. Kind of weird. There's no way to like detach the uh, minigun either. Let's let you not break my fancy transmitter, thank you.
That said, I don't think you're getting into this tank again, and I like this one better. Ooh, helicopter, yes. Because air supremacy is in fact a thing. Because I have the high ground. So let's talk about you drones and how you're all about to die. You're all about to die. Did you know that? This thing's got like a... Ah, oh, it's a minigun. Weird. Okay, well, what's attacking it? I'm not seeing anything shooting it. Ah, I see. Something down here is attacking it. And these guys. Okay, assholes. Let's, let's... I'm aware of this. Oh, come on, tanks. Oh, no. The transmitter's got a big frowny face on it. Because drones are mean. They're cold, heartless machines. Oh, come on, drone. Leave it alone, please. I'm terrified of hitting it myself, though. Okay, well, I guess you're not done fast enough. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, that's the real trick. It's like, I want to hit those things, but I don't want to destroy the transmitter myself. Oh, my tank's gone. I just gotta get a new one. Okay. This one'll do. Until you fling me off of it. Thanks, physics. I told you I was the great physics-defying Rico Suave. And now you're all dead. I think people were hiding in there at one point. Yeah, not having unlimited ammo for tanks is weird. It, it does feel kind of unnatural. Helicopter, helicopter. Okay, you cold and feeling drones. Now you're dead. I'll do it faster. I can't shoot that. Oh, hey, more tanks. Okay, those guys are dealt with. Those guys are done. Guys, done. Okay, we've got backup now. I don't think they're gonna handle tanks very well, though. Oh, be more done sooner, thank you. All right. Go team. That's what I wanted. I wanted the tire to connect to that. Oh, jets! We gotta find jets. Before this is done, I am finding a jet. I'm probably pummeling it into the dirt, but still. Oh, let's take a step back. Ow! <laughs> what the hell? Huh. Whoa! 
That was a lot closer than I gave that credit for. I was too interested in jets. I mean, they're jets. It's a thing you should be interested in. Oh, come on. Looks like an F-14. Yeah, I believe that is, in fact, an F-14. It's probably an off-brand, you know, we can't use the technical license. But still... I want that. Oh, come on, plane. I want to catch you. And then fly you, and then probably pilot you into the dirt. Oh, jets were so fun in Just Cause 2. Let's see, if I had... I had a jet, things would be better. Because jets make everything better. I like this is a game where a guy with a parachute can just dogfight a jet. Like, the fact that that's a thing is just amazing to me. I'm right behind you, buddy. And please don't crash that before I steal it, because I would kind of like to have it. No! I've always been more of an F-15 guy anyway. I don't know, I, I like the retracted delta wing look of the F-14, but the moment like the wings fold out it just looks really dumb. But the F-15s, they're always a classic. Okay, so, what looks vaguely like an airstrip? That looks like a port. Uh, let's see, airstrips. I mean, those planes had to have just launched from somewhere, right? No, they probably just spawned because video games. I've been there, that doesn't look like much of an airstrip. That might be one. Uh, that's the place we assaulted at the beginning and didn't exactly succeed at. Yes, I know that very well. <laughs> I had to uh, fly an actual um, simulation of that very experience in a combat scenario. That's how I got my title. <laughs> Ironically, apparently there's an Ace Combat character who has got the same title for the same thing, and that's where they think I got it, but uh, no. It's it's from that exact uh, thing. Hence, Solo Wing. What well, looks like an airstrip? That looks like a road. That looks like an airstrip. Let's go over there and see what that's all about. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, a friend of my uncle's uh, worked with some aeronautics stuff, so they tried to do a... Uh, simulation of it and they got a bunch of pilots to test it out and they couldn't do it and I was just some kid trying to play like a simulator to kill time so I was playing a video game. I managed to actually beat the mission. So he, he uh, gave me like the title Solo Wing sort of like ironically and I just sort of took it as my own. That was a long time ago though. But uh, I, I used to play the shit out of uh, flight sims when I was a kid, like, uh, like, uh, F-14, like, F-15 Strike Eagle and stuff like that. Back on DOS. 
<laughs> so the accuracy of an actual simulation is probably suspect, but still, you know, it, it's a bit of my own history that I'm kind of proud of, even though it's, you know, probably not all that relevant in today's world or any point in history, really. But it's also a connection to actual historical facts, so I, I think it's kind of cool. Plus, plus, it's a uh, reference to Panzer Dragoon as well, because the uh, dragon from that was known as Solo Wing. So it works on multiple levels. Uh, I might have back in the day, like, I, I don't remember ever playing DCS, but it sounds familiar. I don't know, it was hardly a realistic experience, but like my favorite flight simulator of all time was uh, good old uh, TIE Fighter, which I still consider to be the best PC game of all time. Oh, that game was fun. I'm gonna have to play that when I'm done, just play some TIE Fighter. It's been forever. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that car feels like it's mocking me. So, we're going to ruin his day. Because that's always fun. Not what I wanted to do, but I'll take that as a victory. Yeah, I, I think I saw a game like that it was like um it might have been in the series but uh, it was like a warthog simulation you had to go through like all the checks and hit like all the proper buttons and switches and stuff i saw that once upon a time it seemed really interesting <laughs> that said i don't know much about actual aeronautics or anything i've, I've got a few books because i think it's fascinating but i don't know much I'm just a kid who liked video games <laughs> a lot. I mean, I know it's not remotely, remotely accurate to actual flight sims or anything, but one of my favorite uh, games with jets will always be Afterburner. <laughs> I grew up with a uh, Sega Master System, though. So, like, all those old Sega Super Scalar games were basically my childhood. That's why I consider OutRun to be, like, the best arcade game ever. I'm kind of sad, because I know there was, like, a digital... Um, Afterburner game you could get on Xbox a while ago and they delisted it before I had a chance. Oh, God, stop it. You piece of shit microphone. I had to dig out of my closet for reasons I still don't really understand. God, I hate that. I hate the connect with such a passion. I'm sorry. We now interrupt this searching for a jet to derail a train, because that's always fun. Oh, oh it's gone. Damn it. I used to have, like, this huge binder of, um, stuff like uh, startup sequences and stuff for planes way back in the day because my uncle um, I think he tried to learn to be a pilot and he actually did it like just as a casual thing and he ended up giving me like a bunch of his aeronautic books at one point 
It was really fascinating to see. But that was a long time ago. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty. can still kind of ding the ground without stopping. I'm not sure if that was a bug in the original, but it seems to have been maintained, which is okay, I guess. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, Sorrento. I'm at Prospera Aero Especial. What are its defenses? I don't care, I just want a plane. Well, there's one, but I want something a little bit flashier than, like, the, uh, what is probably not much better than an F4, which is basically just a brick with wings. Great plane, but still basically just a brick with wings. I wonder if this game has, like, that experimental plane from uh, Just Cause 2. That was a fun thing to fly around in. Kind of glitchy, but fun. Well, let's not crash and lose half our health like that. Look, you people don't want me here, and I can respect that. All I want is a goddamn plane. And I will be out of your hair until next time I want a plane, which will probably be very shortly, because planes are awesome. Seems like they actively, like, have a way to attack you while you're in your wingsuit form. That's kind of awesome. Just Cause uh, 3, if you had a wingsuit, you were pretty much fine unless you had the jetpack attachment. In which case, for whatever reason, stuff could lock onto you. Are you kidding? Baking pastries is ridiculous. I can't bake to save my life. I mean, I almost burnt my house down making cold cereal in milk once. I wish I could cook. Oh, let's not shoot me. Oh, come on. There was an F-14 here earlier until it crashed into a wall. I just wanted to respawn. Is that too much to ask? Or arguably something better? That would be cool. Whoa. Love the structure of this place. Alright, fine. It's not flashy, but I'll take it. Off we go. Yes, please. Oh, that's bad. Let's get out of here before we die. <laughs> We're gonna fly around for a bit, I think. Whoa! Patrols are a little touchy, but it's not much different than Just Cause 2. <laughs> oh right, limited ammo. Let's let's not waste those until we find something we really want to blow up. Which should be most things because Just Cause. Of course, gotta limbo the bridge because Just Cause. Flip yourself inverted. Because roll. Oh yeah, I'm getting lots of flashbacks to Just Cause 2, just flying around in the valleys and stuff. Oh, like the beautiful like uh, light shining off the water and stuff. Oh yeah, let's bridge limbo some more. Oh, 
Oh, that's a steep attack angle. But we did it. Ah, uh, more weather. This will be interesting. And now it's gone. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Oh, let's not crash! Sways a little bit much. There's no way to just sort of uh, slowly mess with your yaw, huh? I do quite like these little islands. They're quite pretty. I see a thing that could be blown up. Oh, you can lock on that. Whoa, stuff. That's kind of cool. Crash into this. Oh, Woo! Copy that. And I think we may have another use for the launchers once they're up, too. Should be fun. That was fun. Or actually, let's do this. Yeah. Let's just give it a wrecking ball for fun. Because just cause. Okay, you want me to do a thing over here? Fine, I'll do your crappy little mission. I don't want to. I just want to keep faffing about. That was the whole point of Just Cause. Goodbye, magical spheroid. You will not be missed. Okay. Uh, I gotta be over there. Fine. Am I up there or I'm over here? Where do you need me to be, you weird little pointer arrow thingy? Let's go up here. <laughs> I quite like how uh, powerful this thing is. Let's just turn that off. Ooh, even better. Let's see how that works. Ah, lovely. Just another day in paradise, really. Ha! 
And kicked. Okay, where do I want to be? Let's go up there. Destroy generators east. I should actually probably read the actual instructions. That would help, I guess. If I wanted to be a nerd about it. Or alternatively, I could just blow stuff up like a cool guy. Okay, where's the thing I have to do a thing to? Okay, so that didn't do anything. You know, I remember Just Cause 3 had, like, this achievement for destroying an entire military installation with just your grappling hook, and that was, like, a challenge. In this game, it would be a freaking pleasure. Oh, you're gonna shoot at me a bunch, huh? Well, yeah, but that happened then. And now you're dead. Don't you feel silly? Okay, I don't think that's... Huh. Oh, that's actually really, really cool. So, we've got a machine gun that is also deployable cover. I like that. I mean, it's no rail gun, but still... I think it's safe to say the guns in this game are pretty fun. And you're dead and I'll take some ammo. Yeah, but now I've got this. I do appreciate deployable cover the gun. Seriously, what do I have to do? Does that have something to do with this glowy bit? Which would be down here at this point where I karate kicked you. And I'm just going to steal your deployable cover gun because more ammo is always nice. Ah, that'll work. Oh, that did something, I'm sure. Okay, so we gotta find glowy bits and figure out where they... Here's one. I do miss the jetpack with the rocket launcher and uh, machine gun attachment. That was a fun weapon. I didn't like how you couldn't use it in the challenges, though. Like, I guess I would have broken them, but still. Jetpack with rocket launcher is always nice. Okay, we gotta find more glowy bits. There's some glowy bits. Oh, hey, you've got a deployable cover gun as well. Well, that just means more ammo for me. Delicious, delicious ammo. Okay, so there was someone with a sniper rifle around here. Boop. That was fun. Oh, yeah? Okay, deployable cover does not negate rocket launchers. Noted. Okay, so there should be more glowy bits around here. Huh, 
There's what I'm looking for. Another one is ready. Activating the missile launcher. All right, where's the last one? It's over there. You order it digitally, and then they let you have it two days early. Like, like seriously, I just ordered it uh, on Xbox Live yesterday, and said I could play it two days early. So I said, okay. Oh, there's a glowy bit. So where's the last one? There it is. get a vehicle now. Ah, oh, but I was having fun not driving anywhere in Just Cause ever again. Unless it was a tank, perhaps. Or alternatively, Dune Buggy. Yes, please. Beep. I'm coming, senor. Yeah, it's a big download. We need to get to a console on the other side of the base. There's a ravine between here and there that we need to get across. I've studied the layout of this place, and if we hit the top of one of the missile launchers with enough speed, it could be a fun way to get over the ravine, see or no? <laughs> I like the way you think, Alejandro. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Because that's going to end badly. <laughs> I don't want to skitter off a ramp into, you know, death. Let's try this again. As intended this time. So... You know I've got a wingsuit and a freaking parachute, right? <laughs> I didn't need any of that. It was fun, but, you know, I, I could have just, you know, flown over. Thank you. Also, I still have not seen another blimp, and I really want to steal one. <laughs> Damn it. I'm annoyed. Why couldn't I have just gotten that blimp back then? Ah, you've got to do a thing. You do a thing, then. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure that's actually against the Geneva Convention. I'm pretty sure you're legally not allowed to actually shoot a paratrooper until they hit the ground, and they're not allowed to fire on you until they hit the ground. I, I mused about this the other day. I wonder how many, like, average Call of Duty players would actually know something like that. Because I don't think they would ever follow those rules. Granted, I don't think anyone actually does follow those rules in combat anyway, but still... Okay. I'm already doing a terrible job. Yep. 
You know, you can just tell me what to do. I can do it. I got a grappling hook that'll get me over there in one second. <laughs> That's a lot of exploding things I don't want to get hit by. Looks like someone has a grenade launcher. I don't know where they are. Ah. Oh, I don't want to be there. Unfortunately, I don't think our awesome balloons are going to do much to this turret. I've already run into this problem before. Ow! Okay, so you got an EMP field too. That's less than ideal. Ah, dead. Oh god, I'm getting shot at already. Bring a vehicle? I already did that thing. Alright. Dune buggy! Get in. Back over the ravine. We're going to go over a launcher again, right? Don't see why not. Oh! I don't want to get hit by that. Alright. Alright, so that would be over there, which should be down here. Just gonna oversteer. Like someone who actually knows how to drive. Good. I'm gonna hack this. If any more helicopters come our way, we should be okay. Hey, there's one now. Still, might be best if I take this. Anytime, Rico. Or not. Let's let that, uh... Whoa. I'll let that Sam take care of you. Oh, hey, that guy has a deployable cover gun, too. I want it because I need more ammo for mine. Oh, that's bad. I wonder. Will this fly? <laughs> Let's find out. Nope. Okay. Stay away from that helicopter. It's a trap. Okay, I meant to karate kick you, but sure. I'd like to not be dead in a sec. 
not appear to be weapons on this chopper. That's a problem. Although, alternatively... Yeah, that worked. <laughs> oh, that's never not going to be fun. Come on, open up. Hey, alternate fire. What do we have over here? Maybe don't stand next to the glowy, blow upable object. Yep, that one's down. Welcome watching my stream. Feel free to uh, follow and see more. I'm thinking I might do a little bit more over the week. And I'm glad you enjoyed. Woo! That was fun. do not feel as fast. At least this one does not feel as fast as the boats from Just Cause 2. But it feels kind of on par with the boats from Just Cause 3. Less of a speed demon, but, you know. More weapons never hurts. Hey, we got like a nice little uh, city over here. Yeah, this feels very Just Cause 2. Kind of a nice little city, but still has like dirt paths and stuff. Very, very tropical. I, I like this. This is nice. I think we need to find a vehicle of some kind. See what we got. Can we find a bike? I really like bikes. Or if we could find another tuk tuk, that would be just the greatest thing. This is the most boring vehicle choice ever. Oh yeah, this feels this feels like a next gen just cause too. That makes me happy. Oh, 
Oh, that's the wrong grappling hook. That's the one I want. Oh, neat, you can have both types out at once. Hey, I'll take that. Meow. <laughs> I wonder if we can make that thing fly before it explodes. I think it's just too big. wants to take off. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, I like the toys this game's providing. Ow, that thing had a freaking railgun. Was that a person that had that? Ah, that was you. Let's talk about how you're giving me your railgun. Oh, that's fun. I think we've done our thing here. Rico Suave away! <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Thank you. <laughs> because dune buggies. They're not street legal, but they are awesome. If we have a dune buggy, we are obligated to ramp it off of something. Come on, we need a jump. What well, looks vaguely jumpable? Yeah, all right, let's make that work. Whoa! Let's keep it out of the water. Gotta admit, I do like the dune buggy. That That's fun. I don't think it'll ever be as iconic as the tuk-tuk, but it's gonna be way more functional. That looks like a thing we can jump. Let's try it. Yeah, kinda. I mean, it was a sheer wall, but still. That's another thing I love in these games, just like bushwhacking, just, you know, pick a point and see how far you can drive through it. That's always fun. A sheer wall versus dune buggy. Come on, buggy. Oh, come on. Almost. 
ghost. Ah, uh, dune buggy lost to gravity, unfortunately. So close. So close. Oh. That's pretty. Uh, the lighting on that, like, uh, mountain over there, that's just pretty. Oh yeah, this is just cause right here. Flying through a little valley with beautiful light reflecting off of mountains in the water. Flying under bridges for style points. That's just cause. And maybe not boats. Boats have never been fun in Just Cause. Oh, hey, I've got my deployable cover gun plus my, uh, my, like, uh, rail gun. I didn't realize I could have both of those. I figured they both classify as, like, heavy weapons. Hello. Boop. <laughs> Special Agent Rico Suave away. Oh, yeah, we need to do this. Come on, get off the dock. Feel free to reverse, you know, as boats do. Because that's what a giant fishing trawler's for. Taking it off waterfalls. And then driving sideways because completed game. <laughs> jet ski. My jet ski. You seem to be driving sideways, that's peculiar. Again, the day one patch isn't exactly out yet, seeing as it's not day one, technically. Oh, that's pretty. Seaplane. You just get me, don't you, Just Cause? Oh, don't crash, seaplane. I want you. Good job, seaplane. This'll work just fine. Well, to be fair, we were getting propulsion there. Just not in the orientation I would have preferred. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this game's totally destroys Just Cause 3 in terms of the world. This is amazing. This is basically if you took Just Cause 2 and just made it next gen. And that is probably the nicest thing I can say about this game.
Unfortunately, they got rid of the, the uh, cow riding from Just Cause 3. It was a dumb little thing, but it was still a thing. Fan boat. Vehicles in this game are just ridiculous. They've got so many. I wonder. That's not the one I want. Oh, hold on there, fan boat. stuck to the ground. That would be the problem. Let's try that again, fan boat. I believe in you. Okay, maybe not like that. Although, probably not anytime soon. I'm too busy having fun. <sighs> Grappled to the ground again. Aw, oh, come on, fan boat. I believe in you. That's not working, is it? Oh, I attached it to the ground again. Uh, but Fanbo just wants to fly. Okay, let's try that. Oh, we're on fire. Fan boat. Never forget fan boat and his amazing sacrifice to try and be a flying throne for my awesomeness. All right. Have a good night, Ray. I'll probably be done pretty soon anyway. <laughs> just flings herself out. Now, if my car started taking off, the last thing I would try and do is fling myself out of it. 
That seems like a bad idea. Whoa! I gotta admit, I, I like that balloon grappling hook. That is... It doesn't feel all that useful, but at the same time, I can imagine doing some dumb, fun things with that. Oh, and everywhere I go, it just looks pretty. Like, the lighting is just perfect. The colors are just fantastic. It feels like a very warm, nice tropical location. Really inviting. Way better than uh, Medici, which was just kind of crap, comparatively. There's a place that's probably a uh, military vehicle, but I don't really want to hang out there right now. I just want to fly around, really. Just continue to enjoy the wonderful, wonderful world that this game has created. And that's the thing, like, Just Cause is great for just blowing stuff up and uh, exploring, but at the same time, you know... It does something right when just, you know, flying from point A to point B or just aimlessly tootling about is just amazing. And Just Cause 2 is very much like that, and this is... Whoa. Okay, we gotta explore this. I'm heavily reminded of, like, Pilot Wing 64 from this. Creepy. Huh. So that's a thing. that light is coming from here, but it looks like it's being projected. Huh. Wow, this game is getting more and more impressive the more I play it. little puddle over here nope looks like it's about as deep as nothing well I think this little mysterious cavern should be a good place to leave it off uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this little first impressions look of just cause three spoilers it's freaking awesome <laughs> Way better than Just Cause 3. 
And it, it feels like a mix of everything that was good with Just Cause 3 slapped into the amazing world of Just Cause 2. Except this looks possibly even bigger. Crazy weapons, crazy vehicles, what appears to be lots of secrets. I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, if you did like this, feel free to follow the Twitch channel because I'm thinking of doing more of this, especially this week. Although I won't be able to tomorrow. I've got some uh, family obligations i got to take care of. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is the same as my Twitch channel, to see lots of other awesome videos by me. And if you really want to make my day, check out my Patreon and help support me there so I can continue to do awesome stuff like discover caves and stuff in awesome new games. Like Just Cause 4. Seriously, this game is amazing. You should really pick it up. Um, and you'll get yourself on the Patreon supporters Discord where we can talk about how mysterious and awesome this game is. And spoilers, it seems to be very... Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.